Ubisoft doubles down on their villain arc. Bethesda announced a spicy free update for Fallout 4, and Power World is getting a new mode totally not inspired by any other game. I'm Ash Dixon, and this is Jinx News. Not too long ago, we talked about the Stop Killing Games campaign. Led by YouTuber Ross Scott, the aim is to collectively push for more consumer-friendly laws and to hold gaming companies accountable. The first of which was going to be Ubisoft for their super sketchy treatment of the racing game, The Crew. This month, they pulled the servers offline, meaning the game is now completely unplayable. What's worse is that they gave people like three months notice. So say you paid money for the game back in December, you would have had no idea that it had such a short expiry date. Now, crazy concept, but when I pay for games, I expect to, you know, be able to play them. There was obviously a load of uproar about this, and now Ubisoft has done the wonderful thing of doubling down. You see, not only are the servers now offline, but Ubisoft are revoking people's licenses for the game. Now, I'm sure somewhere in the fine print it says that they can do this, but reminding your entire player base that you have the power to take away the games that they paid for is an unbelievably bad look. Plus, there's a big question on whether this is even legal. In fact, the EU has told companies before that just because you've made a player sign a big wordy agreement, it doesn't mean you're suddenly exempt from the actual law. Now, you might be thinking, so what if they revoke licenses for the crew? It was unplayable anyway with the servers offline. Well, quite a few people were trying to make their own cracked servers so they could continue playing the game. But no, Ubisoft can't even let people have that. So why would they even do this? Well, they haven't said themselves, but cracked servers could also lead to modded content. That means more community maps, cars, and game modes. And a theory is Ubisoft could be worried that players would be too occupied with that stuff to actually pay for the new content that they're making. Either way, if someone enjoys playing a game that they've paid for, they're going to want to play it. If you deny them that, they will find a way on their own of doing so, likely aboard a pirate ship surfing the high seas. If that's the kind of behavior you want to normalize for your fan base, Ubisoft, then well, that's your choice. But just as you might think people should get used to not owning their games, perhaps you should also get used to people not buying yours. The hype for Power World has simmered down quite a bit since it exploded onto the scene earlier this year, and while the millions of concurrent players was never going to be sustainable, developers Pocket Pair have made it clear that they know what the people want. And that's been made all the more obvious with their latest trailer, showing off how you and your pals will soon be able to battle it out in the arena. Now, this ain't like old Pokemon where the cowardly trainers sit back and make the Pokemon do all the work. No, here in Power World, it's just one big mass brawl. Pick your favorite three pals, likely just three Lavanders, pick your weapon and get shooting. When will we get to delight in such chaos? Well, it won't be until some point this summer, and that makes sense. There's definitely some extra development on things like Power AI that need working on. While it can be improved by giving pals abilities with shorter cooldowns, they do often have a habit of standing around and not doing much. Not the most ideal when you're fighting for your life. Overall, I'm just excited to see how deep things go. Before you know it, there's going to be a meta with calls for nerfs and buffs. Plus, Power World very much sits on that silliness bell curve, where the whole thing is so silly that people actually start taking it quite seriously. But hey, I can't blame any Power World fan for having the subconscious urge to be the very best. What do you think, though? Is this the direction Power World should be going? They clearly have loads of money now and can do whatever the hell they want. So what kind of things would you like to see? Hit us up down in the comments. Amazon's Fallout TV show is out, and if you saw yesterday's episode of Jinx News, or if you've seen it for yourself, you'll know that it's actually very good. And you know what they say, all good things come to those who wait. Because in the afterglow of the show, Fallout 4's long-awaited current-gen upgrade is finally going to be released. Yep, in just under two weeks' time, the update will be out for Xbox Series X and S and PS5 with performance and quality mode settings, stability improvements, and more importantly, that sweet, sweet 60 FPS. Oh. PS4 and Xbox One players will also be getting a free update, as will PC players, so it's happy days all round. And the Fallout doesn't stop there. I know Fallout Shelter isn't as popular as the main series games, but Bethesda have announced that characters from the TV show are making their way to the construction slash management sim. Here's Lucy, the main protagonist of the series, and she's joined by five other unlockable characters. There are also new locations, and considering the series is set in California, there's a good chance that that's one of them. According to this Bethesda blog post, some new items are available too, including a free Vault 33 jumpsuit if you log in before the 7th of May. So, happy days all round. And if that wasn't enough, they've even teamed up with El Gato for, you know what, just throw up the clip.
Yep, for any content creators out there, you can get a Fallout Steam Deck as well as a matching mic and dial. Happy days all round, or at least for those who have the money. The Steam Deck will set you back around 150 bucks, while the dial is about 160 bucks, and the mic and the stand are just under 100 bucks. So you're looking at over $500 if you want the whole set, which actually makes this very unhappy days for anyone not blessed with a money tree. At least you can watch the TV show, right? With the likes of Fallout and The Last of Us faring pretty well, you'd expect more to follow. I mean, the Knuckle series is already on the way, as is the animated Tomb Raider show, Alan Wake's been picked up by AMC, and God of War is coming to Prime 2. But one series that isn't, at least for now, is The Elder Scrolls. Speaking on the red carpet for the Fallout show, exec producer Todd Howard said that everybody's asked about it, and he keeps saying no. Thanks a lot, Todd. Unhappy days all round. But if you'd like to cheer me up, please do consider supporting us on Patreon. There is a ridiculous amount of content on there. Otherwise, a good old like and subscribe will provide a very nice dose of serotonin. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Monday.